Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So in the last couple days, I received a few small packages uh, and I'm just gonna try to put those things on my car this morning before I go to work. So the first thing we're gonna unbox here is the new emblems from Soupy Mods. And I bought the black and white ones. I would've went with the JDM ones, but they looked a little, uh, looked a little ricey. So I stayed with the original and just went black and white. Thought it was kind of simple and clean. Kind of go wrong there. It's got 3M tape on the back, so it's easy. You just pull the old ones off and peel the sticker and tape these ones on. Then next we got these license plate covers. I just got them off Amazon for like $8, so. Nothing too complex here, we just put these on over the old ones. Then finally we got the Rally Armor mud flaps. I'm not sure who else sells mud flaps, so I bought the Rally Armor ones. Everyone's rolling around with them, so it says hatches only on the box. I didn't notice that right away, but there's a difference between the sedan and the hatchback versions. So yep, yeah, right there, hatches only. Not for sedans, don't open if it's for a sedan. So we open that up and everything's all nice and neat in there, setting the standard and mud flaps. Uh, we got a bag and it's got all the tools, the pieces and the instructions and the mud flaps, so let's go. So it's kind of hard to see from there, but uh, you're supposed to use like some sort of wedge tool. I didn't buy. I think I could use the um, the squeegee from when I put the uh, when I wrapped the tail lights, but I used an old ID and I, I fucked it up. And then I used this handy dandy tool that I, I mean I don't know what it's for, but I just stuck this in between the car, and then I kind of pried it off with this, pushing off the plastic. So yeah, it took a while. All right, so we got the license plate cover on pretty easy. They got these little tabs up here to like hide the bolts a little bit. So that, that doesn't look too bad. Hopefully it works. So for the emblem, there's two holes here. The smaller one's gonna go in the rear. You see it fits pretty easy. So same thing, we're just gonna peel this 3M tape and line the holes up and hopefully I don't put it in upside down. All right, so we got it off and most of the glue came with it. So I'm not gonna recommend using metal tools because if you don't be careful, you can scratch your paint. So I use this little like knife edge thing here to kind of get in there and cut away at it until I could pry it. But, uh, line the holes up and you're good to go. So we ran out of time the other day doing the emblems and the license plate covers before work. So we're here on my day off, we're gonna put the mud flaps on. So when you're parking your car before you shut it off, turn the wheel all the way to the side that you're gonna start on because you want that wheel facing that direction so you have as much room as possible to pull these tabs out. So let's do that. So after you undo the two pins down here, you're gonna pull out and there's gonna be two pins in here that I happen to break, but there's two pins here that will pop out on the side skirt. After that, you just open the door so you have room because we're gonna remove this piece right here where it says WRX 
these are all just push pins on the inside, so I recommend starting at the top. And getting all across each side, all the way down. And then the last one is a single one, so be careful not to break that. So, boom, got that undone, didn't break anything. Here's a close up of the side skirt things. There's two pins, actually right here. The pins are fine. I just broke what the pins connect to, and I'm not sure how big of a deal that is, but it looks like that is not good. So after you've removed this piece here and pulled the side skirt off, we're gonna remove four of the push pins here on the fender liner. So this is one, two, three, and four. As you can see, I'm missing a couple, but I went to Subaru today and bought a bunch of extra pins. So we won't be missing as many when we're done. So, so once you've unclipped the fender liner, you're gonna pull it out and you're gonna see there's three little nubs here and you're gonna take your polygon clips from the rally armor bag and you're gonna put them at the top of these things coming down at like a 45 degree angle like that with the flat side facing towards the front of the car after that we got to reinstall the fender liner so we just tuck that back in there and then you add the bracket this way my bad Add this bracket and you tuck it in between the plastic fender liner and then the side skirt and you'll see the little holes it's supposed to line up with pretty easy. All right, so I'm not as fucked as I thought with the side skirt because these two did break down here, yes. But then I also unpinned like three more clips going down the side skirt. That's why I was sagging so much. So it'll still hold pretty good without these two pins. So it's going to buy me some time to figure out how to fix that. So after you get the bracket uh, pushed in here, you're gonna line the holes up and you're gonna take two flat tip screws and this plastic uh, little piece from your rally armor bag. And you're just going to place those in the hole here and the hole here. And then with this plastic piece, it goes down in the corner here and you push it all the way in until it's flush. Okay, this is where I messed up earlier. It's not too late to take this piece back off. You didn't actually need that up there. Um, just the bottom two where the bracket's at. So after this, we tighten these flat tip screws till they're almost all the way tight, starting with the top one. When you're doing this, you'll notice the bottom one kind of runs into the side skirt. Just pull the side skirt out while you tighten it um, almost all the way down. Don't fully tighten it yet. Once it sits flush, the side skirt will go over and not run into the screw. After you get them mostly tightened back, you're going to push uh, the bracket towards the inside of the car and you'll notice it slide over a little bit. Once you get that done, you can fully tighten the screws and then we're gonna push the side skirt back in. Okay, we fully tighten the screws. Now we can push the side skirt back to where it started at. And it should clear that screw now. After that, we're gonna reinsert these two OEM clips in the fender liner. And this one right here. Stop, have a time. So after you get this done, this is where you're gonna come and put the WRX panel back on. Um, the difficult part is getting this one clip down into the hole down here after that the rest is pretty easy oh, so we just gotta unclip that again just a little bit just so we can get these back in and we work our way up bottom to top this time with the door open now they're all clipped in there and we'll just reattach the side skirt next after this you should be good to shut the door it should shut flush without hitting anything um, if you notice my skirt popped off again, that's because I unplugged the, the skirt clips down there a little bit to fit that one in. So if you need to do that, go ahead. I also forgot to mention when you're putting this piece on right here with the WRX badge, you wanna make sure it slides in between the fender liner and this bracket that we had put on. Same with the side skirt down here. Uh, it just kind of happened that way for me, but that is, needs, needs to happen that way. Now that we have the bracket properly mounted, we're just going to re-add uh, the two clips or however many clips you started with down to the bottom of the pen. 
All right, now it's time to put the mud flap on just about. So we're gonna need three small washers, two lock nuts, a short screw that is not a flat tip screw, so. And then the smaller mud flap for the side you're working on. And remember the letters face the rear. So after you get these out, um, you're gonna turn the car back on actually and turn the wheel the other way. So you have more room to work that screwdriver in there. So you got the wheels turned and the first thing we're gonna do is match this top hole and small washer, then the lock nut and we're just gonna get that finger tight so it doesn't fall off when we put the other ones on. And the same thing, small washer and a lock nut for down here. So after you get these two finger tight looking down here, you're gonna need the short screw and a small washer is going in right here and you can see where you're going to run into issues trying to use a screwdriver back there that's why we turn the wheel because you can fit your arm all the way in here i can't do it while recording but stick the elbow in over the tire and then you can work like a short screwdriver i'm using this i just don't have the extender on right there to twist that all the way in so before you tighten it all the way you're going to want to use the little wiggle room you have to pull the mud flap and get it to what you think is the right angle um, so these aren't sticking out and they're kind of hanging flush and horizontal. So when you go to the rear of the car, this is the furthest clip to the rear. And then this is the one that you're going to remove for this. I already took this one off because there's a bunch of dirt back here and I'm going to take them both off and just dump all the dirt out before I put the mud flap on. everywhere all right so we slid the metal underneath and then here we're gonna do the same thing right in there underneath and try to keep these holes in line here so as you can see we got the metal lined up in between uh, the fender liner then we got the bracket then we got the fender so we're gonna take the outside piece of this retainer clip and fit it up in there nicely and this is a lot easier now that we got all that dirt out and we're just gonna push retainer clip in uh, try to get it all the way in if you can't we're gonna use a hammer just Stop. Have a time. so from here we're gonna take our polygon clips and put them on each of the holes where these inserts are same way we did on the front with the flat part facing forward and then we're gonna get the holes in line all right now that we got all those on there and the holes are lined up we're going to take our mud flap and we're just going to secure it firstly to that top hole with a short screw and a large washer you use the big washers for the rear and the small ones for the front so we just screwed in just finger tight just so we can get the rest of them on there and the middle and then lastly this little quarter end piece down here All right, so I got them all kind of screwed on. Uh, now you just gotta arrange the mud flap so it's perpendicular with the ground. And then you gotta try to fight and get a tiny screwdriver in there to tighten all these things. The worst one is down here. Um, how I screwed that one in on the other side was I kind of just bent the metal back a little bit so I had more room. Take some pictures of everything we just did, so see how that works.